everybody. Well, today's video will be my new makeup room tour video. I have promised this for quite a while and I know quite a few people have been asking pretty much since I mentioned that I was moving and also that I've since I've been uploading pictures to Twitter as I've been adding things to the room. So originally I didn't think I was ready to film this primarily because there's still a few things that I want to do. But then I realized that I love the room so much and I love the space so much and I spend so much time here that it will actually be an ever-changing room that I'll be adding and subtracting things and changing things around. So if I wait till it's complete, which it will probably never be, I'd never get around to filming it. So I've decided to go ahead and film it today. So first I have to tell you guys that I did not design this. This was already here when I purchased the house. Of course, it was one of the selling features for me. My husband had promised me that if I agreed to move, he would find something equally as nice as the previous space that I had or would build me something new. And he definitely far exceeded my expectations. Absolutely, as I said before, I love this space. And I have to say that the person that designed this must have been, he or she, I'm not sure who it was, must have loved makeup equally as much as we all do because this is just a phenomenally designed space. And as I'll walk you sh through it, I'll tell you some of the features of why I think it was designed so well. So I'm going to start here in the left-hand corner, and this is just the window going out. You can see the picture uh, that I framed that my friend Frankie here on YouTube gave me, and of course that came along with me. Actually to the length is a full length mirror. I'm not going to show you that because you'll get a lot of glare coming through from the bedroom. But I wanted to show you this valance. This was actually on a window in another room that was left, and I redid that window, but I absolutely loved the valance, and the minute I saw it, I thought I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to repurpose it in this room. The rosettes at the corner were actually tiebacks on a curtain, and I added them and I had this installed and I want to just go quickly up close so that you can see this beautiful fabric with the embroidered flowers on it which is pretty much the design theme going through the room. So I'm going to come around to the left and show you this wall that I've been working on. These postcards I just recently purchased. I was looking for a painting or a postcard that had either a vanity or a makeup theme to it. I found these online. These are actually postcards from 1903. The back of them have the words that were written by whoever sent them, plus the postmark from France. And if, you, if I go in closer, you can see this is actually a woman at her vanity. There are three different shots. The first one, she's brushing her hair. The second one, she is looking into a mirror in front of her vanity. And the third one, she's actually applying makeup. And I thought it was just so appropriate. Had a hard time finding frames because for that size, most of the frames go on tabletops as opposed to walls. But leave it to Target. I was in there, found them. They were only about $5.99 a piece. And I just think they go perfect. The coloring and the sort of weathered, sort of older look to them, I think just fit perfectly. I'm going to pan back a little bit, and you'll see down here in the corner, this is an old mirror that I found in an antique store many, many years ago. I actually had it in a drawer protected because I was, wasn't sure where I wanted to put it, and I was afraid because it's very fragile. It's china, and as you can see, as I go in a little bit closer, she already is missing her hand. She's just so beautiful. So I was just really worried about where I would I put saw it. this wall and decided how I wanted to decorate it. I thought, well, this is absolutely perfect. So I just want to go in close so you can see the beautiful detail work on the flowers. Now, it is a mirror. I don't have it set up to be used as a mirror, but it's really for decorative purposes. As I swing a little bit to the right on the wall, because I'm going to stay in the wall area before I go down to the vanity area, this is just a nightlight that I had, and I really don't remember where I purchased it, but I thought the coloring was perfect for in here. And then I'm going to swing over to the right, and these masks, which I actually tweeted, I purchased on the west side of London many years ago. My previous kitchen was all white and black, and I had them there. I had them actually in a cabinet, and when I decided how I was going to do this wall, I thought, well, these would go perfectly, the colors are right, and what could be better than a painted mask in a makeup area? So I put those there. And I'm going to swing around just quickly to the right, even though I want to keep this section separate, and show you that the theme came for the whites and the silvers and the tones from these lights that were here. And you can see that, I'm going to go in a little bit closer, you can see it looks almost like the pattern on the frames. And then I'm going to swing up 
So you can see, aren't these gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. These are on, on either side of the mirror. So I'm going to come back down now and try to stay in this corner before I go over to the part where I actually sit in front. And I will pan down. Hopefully I'm not going too fast to make you guys dizzy. And I'll come back just a little bit so you can see this side of the counter. And the thing that you'll know is one of the things that I said that was brilliant in the way that this was designed. This was designed with a sink in it. Now I actually have double sinks in my bathroom which is just directly behind me but this was really a clever idea and whoever came up with it to put a sink out here also and I will tell you guys as a sort of funny note when I was here for the first couple of months I actually walked into the bathroom and used the sink because I just sort of forgot about the fact that I had one so convenient but I have gotten over that and I do use it religiously and it's absolutely great. So coming in you can see that I keep my magnifying glass out for all that small print that we have so much trouble uh, reading, even sometimes with my glasses. This happens to be a place card holder. This is when I wash my brushes, I put them here to dry. Not all of them fit, but generally most of them do, and of course I can only do one at a time, but I absolutely love it. In the back is a crystal dish that I actually keep my brush cleaner in. Fairly expensive way to keep your brush cleaner. Um, you can see it there, absolutely love that. And what I'll do is for other brushes that don't fit in the other holder, I'll just place them gently on top and let them dry that way, similar to the one that you see resting there now. As I come over, there's a little silver frame that has my daughter's picture in it. She has asked me not to film pictures of her, so I hope that you guys will understand that. I've turned it around. A little soap dish. And then coming up this way, I keep some books that I like to look at for inspiration for different eye looks. Of course, the famous one in the back, Making Faces, and this newer one that I just got that I really like quite a bit. There's some great eye looks in it. It's called Style Eyes. So as I pan around, you can see my little crystal bowl that I keep my little towels in. These are my little monogram towels. I believe I picked them up in TJ's, but they're usually Bed Bath Beyond, Marshall's, a whole bunch of different places you can find them. Just recently I added this. This happened to be also in my kitchen in my other home and I thought the colors were right so it's like a little message or an idea board and I thought as I find different clippings from newspapers or maybe a note card that I want to keep as you can see I have a note card up there I'll just keep them there. Coming back around and now going sort of towards the center of my makeup area. This is an old silver chest that I keep my Chanel eye makeup remover pads in. This was from my husband's family. Really don't know even how old it is or really where it was passed down from, but I was lucky enough to get it. I'll go in a little bit closer so you can see the detail on it. It's really pretty. Really like that. Over in this corner, you guys have seen this before in my previous video, these are China roses that I bought a million years ago. I believe I got them in Marshalls. They're in a Limoges vase that I keep and an old silver tray. And I just want to quickly show you this. This is a necklace that my nephew got me when he was in camp. A couple years ago, he went off to camp, was given sufficient money for buying treats, and called his mother the first week to say that he needed more money. And she asked him why, and he said, I bought you and Aunt Debbie some jewelry. So, of course, had she not replenished his supply for uh, treats, I definitely would have. And it's very special to me, so I keep it here so that I can see it all the time. So I'm going to pan back a bit and start to come over towards the center before I go up and show you the mirror. And my brushes just in three separate jars, and I have them separated pretty much face and cheeks and you know foundation I keep them that way I rotate them um, because of course you guys know I have way too many brushes so I try to keep out what I'm using at the moment just quickly to show you on the back that's one of the rosettes that was from the valance and that's actually a little clip-on that I don't know if anybody has ever done that but there are clip-ons that you can buy you have a plain pair of shoes and you want to uh, bling them out a bit that's what that actually is and I just have it lying there on the rosette I thought that was sort of pretty over to the right is how I keep my eye brushes you can see that this is a vase that I think they sell this for I don't know if it's for pens or toothbrushes this is actually two pieces so I'm going to just separate them so you can see the bottom is actually a candle holder and I thought that looked nice holding this I think I got this at TJ Maxx and you can see I have them separated by my blending brushes and then all the other ones. And I really love the way that came out. 
And the back is a little clock. It's a little silver clock. It also has a picture in it, and it is my daughter, so I'm going to just keep that turned around also. I quickly want to show you what I did on the back. I got some silver stencils, and I put out, as you can read, Chanel makeup and Dior, and I thought that was just sort of a pretty way to decorate the area that's directly under the mirror. In the back, you've seen this before. I had this on my other vanity. It's just a piece that I bought. Um, I believe I got maybe in Home Goods. And I just keep a couple of things that I like that I think are pretty and make me smile. This is a pin that I showed, I've shown before. I bought this actually in London also in a street fair. I wear it on occasion like on a suit, but I keep it here most of the time. These are just some little things that I've picked up, and I think at the end is actually a little clip. So if I'm doing my makeup and I need to keep my hair out of the way, I put it there. Backing up a bit, you can see the center is a tray that I keep some special things on. Quickly to tell you about this piece of material, if you remember in my last video, I actually had a tablecloth that I was a tablecloth from an aunt of my husband's that I put over a table, and that's how I created my vanity. So I couldn't use that in this situation, but I did have napkins to it. So I did go and take one of the napkins, I turned it sideways, and I use it. I absolutely love it. You can see on the side is the Dolce Cabana mirror that I got. This, uh, some of my favorite brushes that I keep out. I will tell you that these are my most special. These are my Suku brushes. Absolutely love them and fully understand why Lisa Eldridge loves them so much. I'm really fortunate to have a friend whose husband travels fairly often to London. Whenever he goes, he asks if there anything that I'd like, and I generally send him to the Suku counter, and I actually have a few things to share with you in another video. Just to tell you a very quick story, a funny story, when he was there, he said to them, what's the latest thing that you have? And he went and purchased for me what they just came out with was this really phenomenal eye cream. Of course, when he brought it back, his wife said to him, you bought a woman eye cream? That's like telling her that there's something wrong with her. He immediately sent me an email apologizing, and I immediately emailed him back and said, don't listen to your wife. You can bring me the latest and best and newest anytime. I absolutely love it, and there was no hard feelings whatsoever. Great cream. I do have to tell you guys about it. In the back, I have a By Terry lip gloss, um, Chanel lip balm. Those are my two Dolce & Cabana eyeliners, recent eyeliners that I got that I absolutely love. I think over to the side is my new Dior heated eyelash curler. Absolutely love that. Of course, a couple other brushes hanging around because, you know, I do love my brushes. And then on the side is a pin that I've had also for a very long time, and I thought keeping with the flower theme, I leave that lying there too. I actually should wear it, but I haven't. I just like it sort of sitting there. So panning over to the right now, you can see I have this jar that I have. I tied a black bow to, and I keep my Chanel glosses in. I just sort of like the way that that sits there. Over here is the same cup and saucer that I had on my previous vanity. I keep my concealers there, and you can see I keep a couple of concealer brushes there. Panning over to the right, these are some things that I use every day. They're my Q-tips, my Bioderma, some face sprays. And in the back, what I keep here is, if you can see all the way in the back, I have the Chantecaille Rose Water, which is fairly expensive. And what I like to do is um, spray my brushes before I use them for my foundation. So fortunately, I watch Christine from Pink So Foxy, which I'm sure that all of you do. And if you don't, you definitely must. And she showed a rose water that she purchases that's definitely more reasonably priced. So I put that into this container, and that's what I use to spray my brushes before I do my foundation. Coming around to the back, this is my newest piece that my husband just got me that I absolutely love. We saw it when we were looking at some items for a gift for someone in Bloomingdale's. And I said, even though it's a candy dish, I would absolutely love that for my lipsticks. I wasn't 100% sure that I would get it, although I did think that it would set up pretty much the way that it did, and he insisted that I buy it, and I'm really glad that he did because I absolutely love it. I do change out the lipsticks that I'm using, so it is a, just an absolutely beautiful piece. I'm going to swing around here to the right and show you that there is a mirror that is attached to the wall. This is a lighted mirror. I'm going to come in close so I can show you on the bottom. I have these little magnets that I've had, these little pocketbook magnets. And then I'm going to swing up to the top. 
as I do that, I'll pull the mirror out so I can come straight down and you can see everything that's on these shelves. Now, the person that owned the house before must have really been into collecting things because there are built-ins everywhere. I do appreciate it here because there are a lot of things that I like to put out. A little tough everywhere else. I'm not a big collector of things that need to be dusted all the time. So those, well, I have a lot of empty shelves. I don't, of course, in this area. On the top is a little box for a gift that somebody gave me a long time ago, a little silver box with a bow, and I've just kept it. A couple of Dior palettes. Next shelf down is my Louis Vuitton makeup bag, which I do use, but this is where I keep it. And then a couple of shoes from my shoe collection, which I think I showed you also in a previous video. The last one is a brand new one. It just came. My sister-in-law was in Paris and brought it back for me. Further down, there's a little uh, perfume bottle. That's a little Lalique bottle that my husband bought for me last year. And then those are the items that I found in the fair that I showed you several months ago, some old makeup pieces. And this is one that I've had for a very long time. It's actually a perfume bottle that goes on your lapel. I don't wear it that way because I'm always afraid that it will leak and ruin something that I'm wearing, so I leave it here. And then on the bottom is another shoe. This was actually why I loved the postcard that Frankie sent so much because I thought it looked just like that shoe. This is one of my perfume bottles. Absolutely love it. I guess this is sort of the purple theme on this shelf. And there is the other shoe. So now I'm going to back up so I can show you the mirror. And you can see as I pan up the lights on either side. Now, I won't say that these are the best lights. There is definitely sufficient lighting in the room, but it's not as great as having uh, the bulbs that would go down the side, but it's really not designed to change it, so I've left it this way. And let me just go up top so that you can see. It's pretty cool the way that this is into the ceiling, and it's a full-length mirror, so this is really great. Now, I'm quickly going to show you all the drawers because, again, as I said, the person that designed this definitely design this with someone in mind who has a lot of products, which you guys know that I definitely do. And there are just tons and tons of drawers. There are four drawers on this side. And let me just quickly show you this actually. That you'll love this. This chair was left for me. And as you can see, the theme on the seat, the material, the roses, just goes perfectly with what I was doing. So I absolutely love that. This side is another four drawers. These are phenomenal drawers. I'll show you as I open them. Four more drawers on that side. Two large doors in the middle. And then four last drawers at the end. Now these are the only drawers that I do have to get up to go and use. All of the other doors and drawers are accessible from where I'm sitting doing my makeup. So I don't want this to be a makeup collection video, but I do want to show you how I store everything in this area. So I'm going to quickly just open all the drawers so you can see. These are really great drawers. There's a nice and long. I'm actually going to have the two top ones changed out, not the drawers, but the mechanism, because they don't come all the way out. So I have a really great carpenter that's going to fix that for me, so it's easy for me. You can see because of the lip on the counter, it's a little hard to get to. But this is where I keep my highlighters, my primers, some extra cotton pads right there. The next drawer down, I keep my foundations. I'm trying desperately to work through to not have as many as I usually do. And I'm doing pretty well with it. You can see pretty much ones that I've shown you before. Again, I don't want to do a makeup collection video. Quickly going down, I will show you this is where I keep all of my blushes. You can see that also goes all the way back. But this does come out, so I can get to everything without a problem. And the last one down are my highlighters and my bronzers and a few other also blushes that don't fit in the drawer up above. So those go all the way back. That's on this side. To the left of the vanity on the top, I have my eyeshadows, or actually starting of my eyeshadows. I have two drawers of them. And you can see how those go all the way back. A little difficult to get into the back, so that's why I'm switching out those mechanisms. Second drawer down are more eyeshadows. My mascaras are in the back. There are a few palettes that are on the side. Next drawer down are my eyelining pencils. Um, a few other palettes right in the front of eyeshadows, but mostly eyeliners and some eye pencils going all the way back. And then the bottom is some palettes. I've got some Inglot palettes, Dior palettes, 
my Naked 2 palette, a few other ones, and there's actually a few at the back also. But as you can see, there's also space for more. And on the right are my eyebrow pencils and gels. Coming over to the left of where I sit, and again, these drawers are accessible to me, so it's really cool. This one's actually pretty much empty, except for a few odds and end pieces. I haven't decided what I'm putting in that quite yet. Next one down are my lip pencils, some of my lip tars at the back. And you can see in each of the drawer, too, I have individual holders either made out of wood or out of Claire Lucite, depending on what fit with what I wanted to put in. These are some of my other glosses, and they go all the way to the back. And then the final drawer is lipstick drawer. And you can see those go all the way to the back also. Coming to the middle underneath the sink, this is where my Muji drawers have ended up. I keep my um, eyelashes in it, false eyelashes in it, backup brushes or spare brushes, traveling brushes, some brush cleaner and some other odds and ends there. And then to the left, I have, these are the drawers that are, I have to get up to go into them. So the top one is some nail products. I do get my nails done, so I don't have a lot in that drawer. The next one down is actually empty. You can see I have the tripod for the camera. The next one down is also empty. Actually, that's a vase. I haven't decided yet what I'm putting into it. But you can see I definitely have plenty of space. And that's just sort of a knick-knack drawer with some odds and end pieces that I haven't decided if I'm keeping or using yet. So that's my makeup room. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing that. Absolutely love the space. I love sharing it with all of you. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Of course, if there are any questions, please leave them for me down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope everybody is not too stressed out with the upcoming wonderful holidays that we'll be all celebrating next week. I hope everybody has a great week planned. Take care. Speak to you soon.